You know, sometimes you wonder, don't millionaires and CEOs of major oil companies have any PR relations staff whatsoever? This is the heartwarming story of Rex Tillerson, the ExxonMobil CEO, who's... Hey, I believe, is it $40 million a year or is that just? Sounds right. Oh, my including, God. Including uh, options and all sorts okay. of other stuff. This is a guy who, um, as recently as 2012, lashed out against people who were trying to regulate, trying to curb the fracking boom in this country. He said this type of dysfunctional regulation is holding back the American economic recovery, growth, and global competitiveness. Natural gas production is an old technology. It's just being applied, integrated with some new technologies. The risks are very manageable. You should have no problem if you are a town or a city or a homeowner or an air breather with fracking in your very own backyard. But alas, Rex Tillerson has seen the light in a very narrow way. It's a very narrow light. It's not like a huge spotlight. <clears throat> it's not even like daylight. It's like a very narrow, targeted, almost like a laser. Rex Tillerson has seen the laser. Tillerson has joined a lawsuit that cites fracking consequences in order to block the construction of a 160-foot water tower that would provide water, which is essential to fracking. You, clean water goes in, completely toxic water comes out, who knows where it's shipped or where it goes, whatever. We don't even know what's in it because of um, because of uh, Halliburton loophole. That was a Cheney. Yes, Cheney, the yeah. Halliburton loophole. And, uh, you know, when you frack, it burns clean. Just to get there, you got to release a lot of methane into the atmosphere, which um, is a far more potent greenhouse gas than CO2. And Rex Tillerson has seen the laser, ladies and gentlemen. He has joined this suit to stop this water tower. That just happens to be built next to his and his wife's Texas. Well, I would call this a state. He's got like, what, 80 acres, 100 acres there? It's a $5 million home. And uh, I think it's on the outskirts of uh, Dallas. And Tillerson is concerned because this water tower could diminish the value of his home. That the fracking process will diminish the property value of his home. So he has joined a lawsuit. I think Dick Army is also in this. And they are out there. There is no reports at this point whether or not he's going to chain himself to that water tower. <laughs> but um, his, uh, the lawsuit says that this water tower will sell water to oil and gas explorers for fracking shale formations leading to traffic with heavy trucks creating a noise nuisance and traffic hazards. Suddenly, uh, Rex Tillerson has morphed into Josh Fox, who I saw the other night on uh, Chris Hayes' program talking about this quite eloquently. Um, no word whether, like I say, Rex Tillerson plans to chain himself to this water tower or fund Gasland 3. Maybe he's holding screenings. Gasland I bet you free Tillerson edition. Listen, it's just about as I got to imagine Rex Tillerson has a screening room in his uh, his uh, mansion down there. And so uh, maybe he could screen a free version 
of Gasland 2 to try and get the community. Um, but the irony, of course, here is that his company has spent, and other companies like his have spent, hundreds of millions of dollars. In some cases, trying to deny municipalities from even passing zoning ordinances that wouldn't allow for something like this. Sadly for him, they've been successful in a large extent. <laughs> and so now he has to take to the courts with probably one of those trial lawyers. Mm. Tough day in the Tillerson household, I would imagine.